Hi guys. So in this video, we're going to take our A minor program to the next level. And that is basically that that program keeps on running until the user uh, inputs a sort of an exit trigger. And then the program stops. Otherwise, the program is going to go on every time ask you for your age. Then upon, upon input of your age, it will tell you whether you're a minor or adult. Then it asks you to input a new age and so on. It will go on so on until you uh, input a certain uh, input where it then exits. Now, how do we do that? Well, for something to go on and on and on, that's basically, in other words, if I restate that, it will basically would have to loop, go in a loop. You know, it loop until I input a certain trigger for it to exit. Now with C, you have three kinds of loops. You have a for loop, you have a while loop, and you have a do while loop. And we're going to try each of these. So, and then, you know, see which one is more advantageous than the others. Let's start with the while loop. Now the while loop takes this general form. I'm just going to put it in here, or let me put it up there. The while loop is the general form is like this while and then you have some condition and and then after that you'd have then your block and if the condition is true this whatever is in this block will get executed until a certain condition is no more true so <clears throat> A typical uh, while loop would be something like that. Let me do a simple example. So that's why I'm going to comment all that stuff out. And that as well. And that as well. So a simple while loop would be like this. So while. And let's have here something called um, an int i is equal to zero so that's that's my thing and now i'm going to put the condition i while i is smaller than 10 and then i start my block and in this block i just say print lim um, the value of i is and then d and then here we just add i and that's it right so that's basically the code the value so as you see here now what happens is that as long as i is below zero that loop will go on now here it's very important that to notice that that in itself is an infinite loop. Why? Because I've set i to 0 and I've set a condition i smaller than 10 and then what it does here it prints uh, this statement. Now i does not change in here so basically i will remain at 0 the whole time and this would be an infinite loop. That's why when you use while you always have to be careful that you don't program yourself into an endless loop. And the way to avoid that is to say, okay, you know what? I'm going to change the value of i to something else. So for instance, every time I print the value of i, then i is equal to i itself plus 1. So basically, I, incre sorry, I increment y by 1. Now, it's no more infinite, infinite uh, uh, sort of an infinite loop. Why? Because now, if i... Uh, run the program, it prints zero, and then i gets changed. And at some point in time, basically after nine loops, uh, i will be smaller than 10, and the loop will exit. And then here we'll print then this statement print len, uh, you've exited, you exited the while loop. All right, so that's basically now a simple while loop. And let's, let's give it a shot. I don't need the terminal because I can output and let's try it out. And now, have I got an error? Oh, 
Oh, of course. Oh God, how stupid of me. I'm, I'm, I'm in a completely different language. It's print, not print lin. <laughs> That's silly of me. Right. So now let's try it out again. Now it should work. And now we would have our loop and we would have the numbers from zero to nine. You see here, so you see here now, the value of i is zero, the value of i is one, the value of i is two, the value of i is three, and so on. So let's improve that a bit. Let's, let's have new lines. So to get a new line, I, I use this escape character. And now we have our outputs in, in a new line. Let's save that and run it again. And now you see the effect of the while loop. You see here now, i is 0, then i gets added, uh, incremented by 1, then i is 1, then i gets incremented, and so on. It goes on until 9, and then this condition kicks in, and now we've exited the loop. So, and this is basically the way the while loop works. Now, how do we modify our application for a while loop? So, let me just comment the while loop in, and let's take that out. And now let's go back to our application. And now comes the decision. And now comes the question. This is our original program. And I'm going to take the while loop and put it at the bottom where it doesn't basically disturb us or bother us. I'm just going to put it here so we have the general form of the while loop. And um, it is now. Uh, oh yeah, this should be commented, so now we got it. Right, so save. So this is our original program, and now I wish to um, integrate a while loop in this. Now the question is, which part of the program do you wish to loop? This is not part of the loop, because this is a one-time thing. When you, when you, once you start a program, this statement should come, but that's it. Whereas this, this, and this, this should loop all the time until here. So that's why the while loop would come here. And now comes what's the condition? What kind of condition do I need for the program to exit? I don't have an I here in my application to know, oh, you know, like, uh, because I want, to, I want to have unlimited attempts. I don't want to have the program just run 10 times and then exit on its own using something like this here. No, I'd have to have the user input as sort of a trigger. And the trigger would be what? Well, it would be some kind of input which is not a, 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 good, a, good, a good age. So, uh, for instance, uh, so please input your age. And then here, input minus 1 to exit. So minus 1 would be my, my trigger because no, there is no age minus 1, for instance. So then while, and then I'd say user age, which I defined up there, is not equal to minus one, or even better, while user age is smaller or equal to, or smaller than zero, then while loop uh, 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 kicks me out, and uh, while age bigger than zero because the condition has got to hold true until user age is no more uh, uh, greater or equal to zero. Right, so now, and then comes this part, and I just tab it in, put it in here, and remember the tabs are just, just you know, uh, visual cues. You can, you can have the same code all in one line, doesn't matter, but it makes it very unreadable, so that's why we use tabs just to uh, have some visual cues to show us that, oh yeah, that block, that, that, those statements all belong in that block, which belongs to the while. It makes the program much easier to read. So and that is now a while loop. You see here now, we are uh, asking the user for the age and to, to input the trigger as well. So if he wishes to exit, to exit he just types in minus one, otherwise the program will now go on forever uh, until the guy or the user uh, types minus one. Let's try it out, save it. Now this one can be run in the, o, in the output here because now we have user input, so I go back to my terminal, uh, recompile my program, gccc, 
minus O, and then ABC is the target application, and then my source file is components.c. So now we compile it, and it is done. So now I call abc.exe, and now we start with the loop. Right. So now, please input your age, uh, input minus one to exit, and then I input my age, let's say uh, 36, and it says, wow, you're an adult with 36 years, and you see now, it asks me for the next age. So now it's a uh, 12, and oh, you're a minor, uh, nine, you're still a minor, and zero, again, I'm a minor, uh, 85, I'm an adult, minus one, now I'm gone, I'm exited the program. Right, so you see how the while loop works. Now, certain improvements have to be done. I don't have a space after exit that makes the numbers, the numbers they stick to the to the word. I don't want that. So I'm gonna have a colon here, and space, and remove the colon from here. I have a comma. Right, and another thing what I would like to do is to have a print statement telling me that I exited the application. Right, and yep, that's it. So now we have uh, the finished application using the while loop. Now let's try it out again. And I've just changed something, so I'm gonna compile it again. Right, GCC minus O, ABC, and then components.c. So recompile it and then run it. And now it asks for the age, and you see now the input's much better. We got some space, so let's let's do the first one. Three years old. I'm a minor zero. I'm a minor. Um, let's say forty-five. I'm an adult. Um, Eleven. Minor. You see, and goes on and on and on until I input the trigger, which is minus one. Boom. Now I I just exited a minor. So here we just took our program now to the next level using a while loop. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you a different way of, uh, of a different loop. We're going to be using other loops to, to do the same program as here. And then we can see which one of these loops is, is, is more suited for our specific uh, application.